and we're not live or anything, so even though it's recording, there's no pressure. And yeah. say you need to pause, you want to take a sip of drink or anything like that, or you want to just stop and take a few you notes, know, it's, it's absolutely fine. See, we're here today to just sort of reflect on what's happened over the last year, um, and also because you know we need people to come forward. Tell tell me a bit about Ben. Um, ben was a fun-loving person. Always liked to be out with his daughter and friends, playing pranks on people and messing them up. So you've yeah. got quite a good sense of humour. Oh yeah, all the time. Yeah. What yeah. sort of pranks did he play? He'd he'd like he'd have a water pistol and get you unawares, or or, or even a bottle of water. He'd be talking to a mate out in his car and he'd just squeeze it. And, you know, he'd get a few few words back, you know. Tell, tell me about Ben's daughter. She, she's very much like her dad, messes about and pranks and they come out with the same sort of sayings and stuff. She's, she makes it. She does very much, she's yeah. She talks about him a lot. Um, she does talk about him when she wants to, um, only when she wants to. And then she, she'll she tell you when she's, she's had enough, she'll, she'll okay. go, yeah. He used to be a boxer years ago, when he was 16, 17 and that. He did really well, when, when uh, nine out of ten fights. Yeah, yeah. But it's a very strict sport, so you can't go out with friends and that. And he liked that, going out with his friends, so he gave it up after a bit, yeah. He liked all sorts of music. He liked a lot of his dad's um, music, like Roy Orbison and Kenny Rogers and things like that, yeah. Was he a lot like his dad? Um, he was, yeah, yeah. He'd help people out if they needed help. If they were in trouble, he'd help anybody, even strangers he'd stick up for, um, things like that. So. When you found out that, that Ben had passed away, yeah. can, you, can you tell me where you were and what was happening? If you feel like um, I, was in, I was in bed and the door knocked and I thought, oh, he's in late. Um, and then my partner went down and it was the police and I thought, oh, what's he done now? <laughs> you know. And um, they came in and um, they asked me to sit down. And that was when I kind of got an idea because set that sentence. Um, um, when they said that he'd passed away, I just didn't want to believe it. And I, I said, you know, you, you can't, he can't have gone because his daughter's upstairs waiting for him. Um, and um, I asked my other son to come with me to the hospital. Yeah. Even now, I'll, I don't know, I think I try and put it out of my head because it, because it hurts so much. I put it out of my head, but it's like last night I went outside and just looked down the corridor and it would be where he'd come back when he was coming in and I could, you know, like think, you know, he might come round in a minute. No, he won't, you know. And it's sort of like you just hope he'd come back, but you know he's not going to. In a way, if it kind of hits you, sometimes more than, more than others, you know. Uh, seven o'clock at night is a time um, when he comes back from work. And it, um, when you have a text, because he normally says, what's for dinner? Sort of, you know, like that. And um, things like that, yeah. Tell me about the, the weeks after that and leading up to the funeral. What was that like? Um, that was that was very hard. I I found my brain didn't work at all. I needed a lot of help from other people. Um, a lot of his friends helped, and um, most of most of the funeral was paid for by his friends. Yeah, they all clubbed together for that. Wanted to give him a good send off. Got him the dearest coffin I could find. <laughs> it's like a boxing coffin, so something that he liked, you know. The reason was because it wasn't um, normal, <laughs> you know. 
it wasn't a normal sort of situation. So I wanted it to be something special. Um, he had boxing glove flowers and his names and a lot of the sayings that he used to say. Um, he used to say he was starving a lot. So he had a starving one done. Um, and he, he used to say to, with his daughter, can I get a yay? And we had that on flowers as well. Yeah. Uh, what song did he have? Um, to go in, we had um, Ben by Michael Jackson. Um, it's what he, he was named after, actually, the film. Not, not the rat on the film, but the film. <laughs> um, then we had um, The Gambler, because he used to sing that with his dad. Um, and Ben would often sing that after his dad passed away. He'd sit and sing it and that. But, uh, very well attended, was it? Uh, yeah, a lot, a lot of people, yeah. What yeah. did that mean to you as his mother to see all of those people there for him? Um, to be honest, I didn't look at anybody. I just looked in front of me. Um, I knew there was a lot of people there. The only way I saw people was watching it back on, on the YouTube, you know. But I, d I couldn't look at people because I was, I don't know, I had tunnel vision, you know. Yeah. Do you watch it back on, have you watch it back on YouTube more than once? Yeah, yeah. Do you still do that now? I've got it um, saved, yeah. And I had it saved as well for my mum, who was in hospital, she couldn't go. We're having toys made as well out of some of his clothes. His daughter. Yeah, I'm gonna get a bunny rabbit out, made out of a suit. Phoning people was hard because um, I didn't sit on the phone. I just said I need you to come and come up. That was hard, and they they took away before we said it, you know, because they didn't wanted to tell her in their own time, you know. Don't don't hide these people. Um, they they need to pay for you know what they've done, and so, so we can get justice for Ben. Because when I go to his grave, I say sorry to him, that, you know, it's not been sorted yet, but I, I would like to go there and say to him, it, you know, we've got them and, and you've got justice now. It, it, would, it would mean a lot, yeah. It's, it's very hard waiting and, you know, hoping that they'll get caught, and it, it would it would be terrible if they didn't, because they can't just walk around after what they've done. They knew they knew they had a weapon that could hurt someone. You know, it wasn't to scare someone; it was to hurt someone. So they need to pay for that, and and you know, so they don't hurt anyone else as well.